Hello everyone, thank you for tuning in to today's Words of Wisdom and I quote, it's from April 22nd. If you truly wish to know what courage is, you should ponder not on how to live, but rather on how to die. From the Laws of Courage by Master Okala. Thank you, Master. Courage is such a necessary virtue mm, to live a good life. Uh, in Chinese classics, Confucius said there is three forms of virtue, or three qualities of virtue. Uh, one is wisdom. The second is love or compassion or mercy. And then the third one is courage. Uh, Socrates, or Plato, wrote this, but he, uh, Socrates said there's four virtues uh, for a human soul, and one of them was also courage. Uh, courage is a necessarily quality that we really need sometimes in life for us to push forward with our mission or to really become successful and to truly live a satisfying life uh, where you can say after you die you go back up to heaven you speak to God you say God I was able to do the best in my life uh, to be able to say that you're gonna need courage so then where does courage come from this today's words of wisdom is the hint that Master Kala is teaching us Instead of thinking how you want to live, what kind of life you want to live, rather think on how to die. Which means, mm, how to die, what Master means here is like, kind of like meditating on the moment when you die and how people are going to look at your life or how people are going to remember you. Maybe that's closer. How do you want people to remember your life? That's what I believe Master means by how to die. And mm, for people who practice meditation, uh, give this a shot. What kind of life do you want to live where you don't feel any regrets when you die? Meditate on the moment when you're sleeping in your deathbed. And your family, your children, your grandchildren are there surrounding your bed in tears. And let's say that you're looking at this situation objectively from the ceiling in that hospital room. What kind of life, what kind of decisions would you want to make so that you are satisfied, truly satisfied with this precious gift called life that was given to us and how you, and how you used it? How can you be really, really satisfied? If you meditate on this and bring yourself back to the present, it's interesting, but you gain courage to do it. You'd rather do it and regret it rather than regretting it from not doing it. And um, now when it comes to our daily lives, maybe it's not much of a, a relevant teaching, but let's say that you do really need to make that real strong decision like in work, or let's say that you're a manager, or let's say that you're a CEO. There are decisions that you're just gonna have to make and you won't have enough evidences and um, information to validate 100% that your decision is going to be right. Let's say you're in the military. There are like those kind of decisions. Let's say they're a police officer, um, a firefighter. In those moments, for courage to well up, in your daily life, we have to kind of be thinking about how we want to die rather than how we want to live. And then courage will really truly well up. For Happy Science members that are out there, we're not just people gathering to a new world religion. We are revolutionaries, angels, warriors of light, uh, given the command from God himself that we must alter the situation here on earth where there is so much 
in Buddhism, Buddhist words, wrong views that are prevailing. And society is corrupting. And it's being done through, quote-unquote, academic elites. There are times that you will have to go and join that school board to tell your mistaken teacher's ideology that it's wrong. You will need this courage. The hint is to meditate on your death. If you truly wish to know what courage is, you should ponder on how, not on how to live, but rather on how to die. From the Laws of Courage by Master Li Hokawa. Thank you very much, and I'll see you again tomorrow. Bye-bye.